My name is Marilyn Sloshback. I'm a chef, restaurateur, mom, a bunch of other stuff. I own restaurants in Asbury Park and a catering company. The restaurant that I'm sitting in right now is Langosta Lounge. It's on the boardwalk over the Atlantic Ocean. I've always been a proponent of buying local for the medicinal aspect of it and the flavor, which is like no other. It's not fun eating food that doesn't open up your mouth, your taste, your mind. One of the bigger reasons I buy local is I can totally relate to a farmer's lifestyle. It's hard, it's hot, it's weather driven. You're totally dictated by mother nature and it's hard. It's hard to make a living not knowing what your next step is. What's motivating you? It's definitely not money <laughs> and it's not heat. It's something inside you that lights you up. And I think that farmers have the same passion and you feel that in the food that you eat that's grown locally. You feel it in food that's made by people who are using those products. Happy people making happy food. When I make squash, I like to get a little creative with it and bring flavors into it. Umami is one of my big words these days. And ratatouille is a wonderful way to find umami. You're kind of simmering vegetables and bringing all those flavors together to create that perfect bite. And squash lends itself to take on flavor of other things. So squash comes from the earth, not from a machine. So every single one is gonna be different. So we're gonna start with this little eight ball squash, called that because it looks like an eight ball. And what we're doing today is doing a baked squash and it's kind of decompartmentalized. So we're starting with the squash itself. So a paring knife works well because it's small enough and it'll work with any of the squashes that you want to use. So you take a spoon, a fairly large one, and you're just going to kind of go in a circle. You don't need a knife because it's very soft flesh inside. You want to save the flesh and you can chop that to add to your ratatouille. So nothing's going to go to waste here. And you want to get it deep enough where you can fill it with all the wonderful goodness that we're going to put in there. So basically, it's empty inside and you just take everything out. We take that away and this is what's going to go in the oven. So you have a little top on it for presentation. If you don't want the top, you don't need it. But it's kind of like when you make a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. You could actually even make little stars or things in there if you want to get super creative. I wanted to show you a bigger one. So you have little, you have big. You have medium, you have all different kinds of squash. We have this one, which is a patty pan. So we're gonna use that as well. So we take these aside and we send them to the oven. And when they come out, they look like this. So this is nice and soft. You can eat the whole thing, you can eat the skin. So now we're gonna work on the inside of what's going in there. So I have a makeshift little kitchen here and I'm gonna show you how to saute a ratatouille. You just have to put on some great music, have a glass of wine if you're into that, and pick the best vegetables you can find that are in season that are Jersey fresh. So we're gonna start with a little extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit to get the pan going. Not good to use too much extra virgin or high-end olive oil with heat. It's generally a finisher, um, but I like the nutty flavor of this particular one. So I always season my pans with some roasted garlic, especially when I'm making things that have garlic in them. Next, we're gonna add regular fresh Jersey fresh garlic, and we're gonna do that with the onions at the same time. getting everything Jersey fresh today. So we want to what they call sweat everything where it starts to change color. So the onions will get a little clearer and the garlic will get a little brown. So next we are going to add yellow bell peppers. Some of the squash that we originally worked with and some Jersey fresh eggplant. So you just want to simmer that. 
and you can smell it. And once you start to smell, all of the flavors open up. You know you're at a base point where you can add your tomatoes. So before we do that, I wanna add a little wine. My advice with wine is use what you're drinking. So then you can turn it up a little. You want the wine to sweat into the food. It's not gonna taste like alcohol. It just adds a little more acidity to the food. We're gonna add these lovely Sun Gold tomatoes. Jersey Fresh, grown right here in Monmouth County. They're very juicy, so you can add the juice as well. We're adding some fresh herbs. Today we're using lemon basil, thyme, regular basil, and a little Thai basil. And we're just gonna let it sit for a little while, and then it'll do its magic. Here at Langosta Lounge, we make our own salt. So today I have turmeric, mushrooms, and basil. So the mushrooms come from our farm called Two River Mushrooms. Uh, it's the first certified organic farm in Monmouth County for mushrooms. So I'm gonna use that today. And turmeric is just a wonderful root vegetable. So this just sits probably a half hour on a very low heat. You just want them all to blend. Looks like we're ready here. We're gonna stir it a little, and then we're gonna fill one of our little squashes that we did before. They're so cute, they're like a little present. So you're just gonna fill it inside. Now, if you're not a vegan and you're just a vegetarian, you can add butter to your ratatouille, which is awesome. Butter with everything is awesome. You could add cheese to it. Um, could do goat, feta, uh, aged gouda would be really nice with this. So go crazy. And then you have your little guy ready to show off to your friends. You put the lid on it. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all dressed up. So we're gonna move this aside and bring in the guns. So this is how it's going to be presented at Langosta Lounge. All Jersey, all fresh, our Jersey fresh ratatouille squash. Come join us at the beach.